My favorite moments are just chilling on the sofa and having Henry near me, usually by the windowsill. Oh, but did you see that little slip there? One of my friends gave me some cheese lamyeon, which seemed very questionable, so I forced Eric to eat it with me, and quite honestly, I don't know if I would recommend this to anyone. I don't know, like, it smells interesting. I visited a friend recently, and she has two cats, Anko and Yellow, and they are the most well-trained cats I've ever met in my life. Henry really needs to learn from them. They know how to do tricks, like sit, paw, and kiss, and they know the word mama. It is so cute, like, come on, Henry, you gotta learn. Uncle just looked yeah. at me in the most dinky way. <laughs> oh my god, lovely. yellow's so cute. Oh, there we go. Oh. We ended up doing some catching up over French toast and then doing some organizing since she recently just moved in. Just don't let him eat mm. Oh no, no, you can sniff, but that's it. Just sniff, sniff. Just sniff, sniff. Yellow! Hi! That looks really comfy. I should really get that for Henry. Doesn't Henry look so cute? This is his favorite cardigan to sit on. <laughs> I've been trying this new thing where I massage my face with the roller every morning. It feels super nice and it helps me depuff and jumpstart my day. It's also supposed to help contour your face, but I haven't tried it long enough to see the results. Henry was also curious of this roller ball, so I obviously had to let him test it too. What you doing? You wanna sit over here today? Yeah. Okay. Around last year, I discovered toasted almond slices as an ice cream topping, and they are just the perfect topping for vanilla ice cream. You need to try it if you haven't already. Henry is a very independent guy, so I enjoy the times we get to play around and keep each other company. Eric and I made hamburgers and home fries with the things we had in the fridge and let me tell you, it was pretty good. Very non-traditional, but it worked.
I also ended up canceling my gym membership this past week, which was the best excuse to get some fresh air and experience some nice weather in my neighborhood. One day for lunch, I ended up making some salmon sushi. I know some people say salmon, but I've always grown up saying salmon. I don't know why, but let's not judge. <laughs> um, but anyways, it ended up not being too bad. I also made a little rose at the top and I'm super proud of it, but yeah. Also, please don't mind me taking my chopsticks and just putting droplets of soy sauce on the salmon instead of just dipping it. I bought a kettle from someone through Facebook Marketplace and had to go pick it up in Battery Park, which is quite the distance from me, but it was nice being out and about. And I'm still getting used to the subway with the whole COVID and pandemic and all that. So everyone, make sure to put your mask on and be safe, please. Okay. We stopped by Chinatown and got some hand-pulled noodles and they were so good but I will admit they are way better fresher than after a 40 minute subway ride back home. Henry loves the AC, he just loves going up and sniffing the air or just putting his face where the air comes out and then he always ends up loafing right in front of it on the sofa. Here is a super sweet moment I was able to have with him rubbing his little belly in the morning. I was struggling to make pour over coffee with my other kettle, but now that I have my Hario kettle, I can pour hot water with a lot more control thanks to that swan neck. I definitely have to work on my pouring skills, but hey, we are getting there. Can you guys spot Henry? He's been doing this thing these days where he peeks out of the curtain and it's the most adorable thing ever. I recently found out the name of these flowers. They're called limonium. They are similar to baby's breath, but they have a nice purple hue. Eric actually bought me these a couple weeks ago and I've been drying them so I can put them on display. Yeah. 
My carton of eggs seem to be filled with eggs with two yolks, which has been oddly exciting to me. I soft boiled one to put in my bibimbian, and this just hit the spot. I'm also watching a Korean show called Mom's Diary, Ugly Little Duckling, and it is so funny. I unfortunately ended the week with some really bad indigestion from corn so I drank some tea just to see if it would help but that's kind of just what my week looked like I hope you guys have a great one